Yeah, let me see. Let me check some of the comments now. Okay, Jay says took a buy trade on Swiss franc. Uh, sorry, pound Swiss franc this morning at New York Open, but the breakout showed to be false. Okay, yeah, let me check the pound Swiss franc and look into why it was a fake breakout. We may see it in the Kumo shape. We may see it on the price action, but we'll see. So here is the daily chart first. So daily broke the Kumo which is nice signal for the continuous bullish trend. So you took a buy and I think that was a good decision. Right, Kumo is up also. Kijun Sen angle is up. There was also Tenkan Kijun Sen gold cross and Chikou Spun break and Kumo breakout happened today. So I think he caught the right time to buy in that sense. And let me check the four hour. Four hour shows its range now. But it's not retracing, it's just ranging now. Uh, but Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So in this case, the market may retrace back to Tenkan Kijun Sen. So we can't take the full hour to follow. And let's see, one hour shows it's, uh, it's bullish. Okay, one hour looks good because uh, the market looks to be supported by the previous resistances. So I think this bullish inner wave continues. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, along with the Euro USD, pound Swiss franc in one hour also looks good to buy. Yeah. I think, so you bought this trade, you bought this pair, and uh, the breakout to be false, I think you're talking about this week, I think. But uh, yeah, you can still keep holding. In this case, I would keep holding because um, it's too bullish to me. But I keep holding until the market breaks the support of 1.1436 or comes below the Kijun Sen. Then exit. Otherwise, I would keep holding if I buy because it's bullish, because the Kumo is up and it's not thin, it's bullish Kumo, very thick, and Kijun Sen angle is also bullish. A Chikou Span is above the candles, so I would keep holding and expect the market breaks the resistance. Yeah, looks like previously there was a support, but it was a bit far from the previous resistances. But this time it's exactly on the previous resistance. So I think this is a good sign for this continuous bullish trend. In price section it's bullish, like this. In Ichimoku, it's bullish. So Pan Swiss franc I think is also good. Yeah, but just to make sure when you trade, please uh, take your trades with your own risk management and responsibilities. Yeah, but I think it's a good market to be in the trade. Okay, yeah, but like this, you know, I checked the uh, Ichimoku situations and also the price action. I also look into the candlesticks, whether there is an doji pin bar engulfing and I do holistic analysis multiple time frames and look for the buying edge or selling edge. Before I didn't have this concept of looking for the buying edge or selling edge. I was simply following signals and when signal says buy, I was buying it. When signal says sell, I simply sold. But now I don't do it. I look into the markets in different time frames with Ichimoku and look into where exactly buy or sell or hold, not to not to trade, not to trade, and uh, looking for the trading edge. And it helps me a lot in terms of psychology. It helped me a lot 
to uh, to stop me trading, stop me um, doing the, the wasting trade. You know, you, you don't want to trade, you don't want to keep trading, and you don't want to waste your positions to trade. But rather, you have to be exact, exact in spot to trade. Just like the hunter, you know, you don't want to waste your bullets to trade. You don't want to waste your bullets to hunt, but you want to save your bullets and be exact spot to use these bullets to trade. Yeah. But yeah, Swiss franc, uh, sorry, Pion Swiss franc is bullish. Let me also check the 5 minute. Um, I also checked the 5 minute for the buying edge like this and this is ranging now and I don't think this is a good time to buy it um, yeah okay so support level has been a very flat but resistances are a bit off here and here and now resistance is here too so support levels being the same level resistances are a bit fakey so in this case, you have to wait. You have to be careful for the fake breakout. You might see in the future the market breaks this resistance, but then it may retrace. But in this case, you don't exit. If it's bullish, you don't exit because the market may go up in this direction, just like here. So, yeah, that's one thing I will. Be careful if I'm in the trade in this situation. Yeah, if I buy, then my stop loss for sure is going to be below the previous support 1.1436 level and expect to break the resistance. Yeah, since daily time frame shows there is a nice Sayank Koten signal, come on, breakout. It's called a Sayank Koten signal in Japanese. So I think that's a good bullish trend. Yeah, and also make sure to do the risk management. Never take high, too high leverage. Always uh, risk your trades, either one percent, two percent, or even up to three percent. You risk management and take trades. Never risk like ten percent. It's way too much. Okay, so that's the pound Swiss franc analysis. Thank you for watching the video until the end. And before ending this video, I would like to add one more thing that is important in psychology. And this is my favorite. And the proverb is never try to get a head and tail the fish and only get the body part of the fish because that's where the juice is. And what this really means is that sometimes you may try to capture the pips from the beginning until the end of the trend. And but you have to remember that that is impossible to get all the pips from the beginning until the end. You can only get the body part because that's where the juice is. And that's why whenever you see trends, you better think where is the head and where is the tail of the big fish of the trend and only try to get the body part. So that means uh, you can, after you confirm the trend happening, you enter the market, but that will be too early. You have to confirm the trend, continuous trend, uptrend or downtrend, but never try to get the beginning of the trends. Also, whenever the market goes flat and sideways after the big trends, you never exit just because the market retraces. That retracement might still be a temporary and the market may go up continuously. But sometimes the market goes backwards heavy and maybe reverse end wave, maybe some kind of reverse confirmations and the market starts to go down continuously. Then you exit there with some profit. So never try to get the head and tail of the fish is actually that is very important. And my strategy is built in this way so hopefully you stick to this idea and become a successful trend follower.
So until I see you on the next one, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.